Uh, plenty of highlight reel worthy moments all through the match. The game began with a glut of penalty corners. Plenty of action initiated primarily by an upbeat, spirited Indian team which was riding high on the win against China last night. Japan did get a penalty corner or two, although they did end up making a meal out of that one. India, however, thanks to Gurjan's efforts, managed one of the many penalty corners that they received. Unfortunately for them, none of those went India's way. But credit again to Japan for their impeccable defending, courageous defending. And this was how they managed to land a goal in the dying minutes of the first half. It took a while for India to regroup and find their bearings. In the meanwhile, Japan continued to create havoc in the Indian half. India continued the brand of slow, measured deliveries and eventually a penalty corner came. And while it didn't immediately bear fruit, India continued to apply pressure. And this was a quarter in which India managed to seize the initiative. The final quarter. Before India could head into the final quarter. In the dying moments of the third quarter, the captain, Harman Preet, stepped up as he so often does and launched a fierce track flick. 1-1 and plenty to play for. The fourth quarter saw some adrenaline pumping action. There were the familiar penalty corners for India, although they had suffered a drought as opposed to the number of penalty corners they had received early on. There were a few misdirected drag flicks from the Japanese camp as well. This was a fine chance for Neelakanta Sharma. But that wasn't capitalized. Srijesh pulled off 